Hi everyone, Amy here, and I have an easy Critter birthday card to share with you today. I have this stitched oval scalloped edge die set that I'm going to be using. I have a side fold A2 size card base of 110 pound cardstock. I have this discontinued hippie chick paper pad that was donated to me with some awesome fun hippie looking prints in it. And here's the card that I'm going to make for you today. Super clean and simple. Now some of these products might not be available. I'll link what I can below the video, but this is really just for some inspiration to use stuff that's already in your stash. So here I'm shopping my Critter book. Um, as you may know, I have a sentiment book, but this one holds my critters that are already stamped and colored and cut out. And I'm just kind of shopping through this book to see what kind of critter I can use to make this birthday card and what's going to go with this fun pattern paper here. So I'm figuring out what size oval and I'm going to die cut that out off screen with my die cutting machine. I'll use some low tack mint tape to hold this die uh, in place when I run it through my machine. And I do have a Spellbinders Platinum 6 so that's what I'll be running it through. But this is just a fun idea to use up some of that pattern paper. Maybe you don't have time to make a background or stencil a background. So bust out that paper that you've been neglecting and you can cut out um, with your dies a fun shape just to kind of set the stage for a cute little critter. Um, and if you enjoy coloring your images, then maybe have a little stash of those ready to go as well. And now here I have my Tailored Expression Simple Strips. They make the stamps, the dies, and those container boxes. So those storage boxes can also be found in the shop at Tailored Expressions. But I'm just going to pick a couple of those, one for the front and one for the inside of the card. But like I was saying, use whatever you have. Think fun shapes like stars or hearts or whatever nested dies you have you can use to create this look. And just use up some of that pattern paper if you don't have time to make your own background. And it really kind of... Um, gives your card something cool and you can go smaller scale like I did here and still leave a lot of extra white space around the card um, or you could fill up more of the card front it's really up to you but this is an easy way to pull together a birthday card quickly um, if you need one or if you wanted to batch a bunch for your stash or to donate and here I have um, some little thin foam strips these are similar to the Doris ones but they're a little bit lower profile and I get a huge pack of them from Amazon, so I will link those below. But I'm just going to pop that up just to give the front of the card a little bit of dimension. And then I'll also put some phone tape behind this cutie little elephant. And this elephant stamp is from My Favorite Things, and I had previously colored it in with some Copic markers and used a Sakura gel pen just to put the little white highlights on there. Um, but I do have other videos if you're interested in my style of coloring. I can link that as well below the video if you want to check that out. Um, but really, it's just a fun thing to do if you enjoy coloring. Just to kind of batch a bunch of it and throw it in a folder like I had um, that I'd shown previously. It's just baseball pockets, baseball protector pocket sheets. Um, and I'll also link those below. You can get those on Amazon and you can kind of store all the little stuff. Um, as you feel like coloring it and then if you feel like putting some cards together or if you have a need um, then you can you know shop your storage or shop your supply and kind of have all the little pieces parts you need to put a card together quickly like I'm doing here for you. So I'm just kind of getting that into position. I like the little drops coming off that design. It almost looks like water as if the elephant is shooting water out of its tusk. So here I'm just you know throwing stuff around dropping my my adhesive, my tape runner, but I'm just using some of that um, tape just to put this little extra piece of pattern paper on the inside just to kind of continue the design from the front. Gives it some visual interest. Same thing using the tape runner on the back of this inside uh, simple strip. So it says, may all your dreams come true and then eat cake and celebrate. And I love that these colors also matched perfectly with the pattern paper that I um, picked out. So here's the finished card. You can see there's some dimension on the cutie little elephant and on the sentiment strip. But otherwise, it's a pretty clean and simple card. Lots of white space. Um, but yeah, no shortage of cuteness, right? So if you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and if you want to be notified when I post new videos, hit the bell and then you'll get a, a notification every time I post. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.